All right, what's up guys? It's your boy Pete, and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related. If it tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button, sit back, and enjoy the video. All right guys, so on today's video, we are doing some more plant shopping. Um, I think today, I think I'm doing two stops today, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I'm just about pulling up at one. Um, so this first one that we are going to is of course the Home Depot. Well, I say of course, like you know, um, it's Home Depot. Um, we're going to get in here and see what they have. Um, I'm actually glad I did do this here, plant shopping trip thingy majigger, because I haven't done one in a very long time, you guys. And I can tell you, um, I found a lot of goodies, which is freaking awesome. So we're gonna go in here. Uh, I don't want those trucks. We're gonna go in here and see what we can find. I need to reset this camera because I feel like you guys are like all in my face. Like literally all in my, like do you see in the boogers? Like I'm pretty sure you can see my nose hairs. That's how close we are, but uh, let's see, can we, there's a tire right there, but I can get through it. It's gonna park right here in the front so I don't have to go far, of course, so. Let's do this. All right. I know I just chopped that parking spot up, but it wasn't my fault. It was like a tire. <sighs> it's like a tire in the way. So we're going to go in here and see what they have. Why do I, you know, every time I get out of the car, I have to think like, what do I have and what do I need? I'm debating on like, should I even like wear this here mask? Um, simply because of I'm usually not around people, but just in case, um, I might just put it on. I don't know. You know, I'm just, there we go. I mean, it's still like, that just made it super hot. You guys, can you see this lint? Like, all right, guys, got my keys, got my phone. Fixing to leave my wallet, which is never good. All right, here we go. Oh, this is. Sorry if the lighting is bad, but this is like. All right, guys. Let's flip this camera around. All right, guys, we've made it in here. Um, this is the overview of everything. These fans are on in here. So again, sorry if it's loud. I'm going to start on this side. OK, we have some one of these for $50 Agalima, of course, full of water. But that is, yeah. Um, and of course, guys, check these out. Come on now freaking awesome but they're full of water and i really hate the fact that they are so hopefully um they can get that water look at that that is like full of water but they are gorgeous Um, and of course, they, I think they're like the same price. Oh my God, you see that? I wish they had someone actually know what they're doing. $49.99, $24.98 for some ZZs, which are a very, very nice pot. But of course, they're all waterlogged. Um, Dharm Canes, um, $24.98. We have some fiddles here. $24.98 as well. And of course, you always just look for new growth. These are pretty. Um, Yoka Cane, if I'm not mistaken, $14.98. They're still nice. I don't I don't too much care for these. I mean I don't I don't see a big kuha, but I guess if they're like low maintenance plants, then yeah, which I'm pretty sure they are. Um, some more fiddles. And we're just back on this side of the sea of squamiferums, which is just, I wish they had clearance. If they had clearance at Home Depot, oh my freaking God. I mean, look at this. 
Like, come on. All right, behind me we have the smaller pots. Um, Exotic Angels, so this is pretty. Um, the Friendship Plant, I always die when I get it. Um, we have some type of Ivy here, Royal, Royal Hustler, really? Royal Hustler Ivy, okay. Um, we have some Gold Dust Protons. Um, a lot of these, I know you guys have seen and have. Um, these are pretty too. Small, Pothos, Assorted. Those as well, and these are ferns. And those, these show up so good on camera. All right, down below, the same. Um, we've seen some of these before. I think these are just a smaller version, yep, that we've seen at Ace um, for $6. These are some cute agalimas. Of course, water log, um, but Costa Farm, so I'm pretty sure they're like, twenty dollars but cost the farm well i don't want to say cost the farm because once you buy something from a company you can basically sell it look at that water at any price but these are 19.98 um there's a massive well not two masses but you can tell she's waterlogged it's bright is it just too bright in here it's actually perfect, but anyway, waterlogged. Um, we have another smally, smaller stand here. Waffle, purple waffle. I'm pretty sure $6 dry. Yep, $6. Some more ivy, purple passions. Now, I, I had one of these a long time ago. Ooh. I didn't know they bind out. They're like a binding plant, you know? Um, we have some Sansevieria here, out of variegated. I, I love this hair color. If I love the plant, you guys know I love this hair color, but if I actually love the plant itself for six dollars, six, right, I would get it. But if I'm not mistaken, those kind of grow like the yucca cane, and I don't too much care for it. All right, over here we have a massive $69.98 um, Sansevieras. These are some huge pot, you guys. Like, I wish I could set my camera up and show you guys, like, exactly how big these things are. All right, guys, so, I don't, okay, so I can't really pick them up because they're, like, waterlogged, waterlogged. Yeah, there's no way. Those are massive pots, and they are filled with water. All right, guys, back on this side, same thing, $24.98. A lot of these bigger plants, if they have um, catches to it, will be filled with water. Um, eventually, these plants will start water rooting. Um, Sensiverse, $24.98. Another Dom Queen, um, $24.98 as well. Nice pattern, as you can see. Um, we have some Raven disease, which I think I might get another part of these. Just to be honest, um, these are, okay, these in this pot, oh, I don't have auto lock on, sorry guys, I mean auto focus, come on, there we go, these pots here are $49.98, but these are $24.98, I don't know, oh, that's why, two different companies guys, um, rubber trees, you guys love these things, um, they're $24.98 and some more. I think Yucca Cane, uh, Dracaena Golden something, um, $24.98. All right, on this side over here, we have some more, um, we have some more, what are these things, rubber trees here? Um, well, this is a nice size money plant, but I think the biggest one we've seen was the one that we've seen at Ace, I'm not mistaken, Little Fiddle. I used to always want it, one of these, but I knew for a fact I don't have the light and I'm not fixing to add light with it unless it's like one of those um, Sotec Solutions light. Um, this is, <laughs> I was fixing to say foliage. This is the Birds of Paradise. So, well, this one is $69.98, but it's in a bigger pot. 
This is a mixed pot for $100, so I guess the bigger pot is better, even though I don't have Pafos in it. These are the bigger ones. I mean, freaking massive. Uh, those look like Millie's, but freaking massive. Like huge massive. I can barely fit it in the frame type massive. Um, but they are $69.98. We have some more fiddles over here. Mixed basket for $100. All right. Um, down here, Majesty Palm, $69.98 as well. People love these palms in their house. I don't like it. I mean, I like the other um, palms as well, but these here, I don't too much care for. Um, some more little fiddles, $39.98 on the money tree here. Um, we still have all of this back here to cover, but we made it here. Oh crap, are these the little star thingies? Holy crap, somebody let me know. I wish you guys, is this the star thingy? Yeah, because you can answer me right now. I think this is like the star, I don't know. It could just be a regular tactile. But anyway, this $29.98. If you guys let me know what it is in the comment section below. Here we are. Um, we have some more Santa Bears, which are $14.98. This, this is like the glace, Glacier Gloss or something. I don't know, you guys, but I don't want to continue that. Heteracium in a hanging basket. Um, $20, $19.98. Peperomia Cupid. Yep, Cupid Peperomia. Looks kind of like a um, devil's backbone to me. The foliage. Um, I think it's probably the same price. Water, um, 1998. All right, so I'm gonna have to lock this, you guys, and just turn the brightness up. Um, Blue Star Fern. I used to have one of these that I killed it, of course. Pretty sure $20 stack on fern, $20 hanging basket. Pretty golden pothos here. Hanging basket, $20. Not bad, you know. Um, lipstick plant, $20. I'm not sure what kind of lipstick plant, to be honest. But it's twenty dollars. Um, up top, we have a sea of succulents. Now I'm not the succulent type of guy, so I'll just do a smooth pan on these for the people who love dial succulents. That is like the one of these. Is that the panda paw? Something like that. These are cute. You know, if I can find a spot where I never have to ever, ever, never have to touch them, or even um, if I bump into them. These as well, the yellows, the reds, and you know I love that green, but I don't want to be poked. Um, we used to have stuff down here, yes, these are some more um, succulents as well, a little pattern on that. Um, down on the other side, we have some regular ZZs for $14, we have a Calathea here for $14. Rattlesnake, $14.98. Of course, waterlogged, I'm sure. Oh, well, not too bad, but it is leaking water. Um, $15, still a good price, you guys. Now, this is a nice size one for $14. I mean, she is gorgeous. We are talking gorgeous, and it's only $14.98. Mm hmm. Um, Agalimas, $14.98. Um, and then I also see some Sansevieras as well, $14.98. Um, if I come on this side, we have some more succulents that I've never, well, some of them I've seen before. Let you guys check these out. It looks kind of like a cabbage or spinach, spinach, yeah. Some more of the sticky stuff that I don't like. Those... Um, some protons, croutons, lemon button, fern, some more sticky stuff down here that can stick me. And that is it. Let's move to the other side. Um, over here. Now these are nice size, even though, sorry the fan is up top, you guys. Um, these are Geo, Geo, G, G, is that right there? G, Geo. What does that say, you guys? Geo, just whatever. That plant, 
um, water, of course, we have some uh, moonlight and Birkins down here as well. Uh, okay, we turn. We have some more Birkins that are not really Birkin-y. You get what I'm saying? Um, we have some Collective Network. All of these cost the farm pots, you guys, $20. Um, I'm, I, always, I might get another one of these as well. Um, we have the Hurricane Birk, Birk Nest Run, if I'm not mistaken. Some more Birkin. These are just wonderful network collectives. I love this red. Now, if it gave me all red leaves like that, we'll be in the business. All right, um, some hanging stack on fern here. Um, rainbow moss, not sure what that is. Oh, I think this is the one that changes colors. I think it's like light or something. Petonia basket as well. Um, 1998 now this is a nice size basket here i do know that they come in a red color as well but the red ones we've seen are i think 5.99 if i'm not mistaken um this is a creeping fig which is probably 14 well 1998 i hate going through these you guys because i mess with the foliage 1998 all right Ooh. These are the beetle pepperomias. Check this out. Freaking nice. And I'm pretty sure 1998 and it's a full pot. If I can keep pepperomias, I would definitely do it. Another curly fig there. Um, and those are another Fetonias up top. Baltic blues, you guys. I love these girls, but you need humidity and some good light for these here. And yeah. Um, we have the begonia. Is this the mama ma something? No, it don't say. I'm pretty sure it won't say begonia collection. Um, but they're nice. You know, I love me a nice cane begonia. It's showing up on camera. It's just, just freaking wonderful. There's one that's blooming there. Um, some more moonlights here. Agalima. I wish I knew what kind these were. The actual name for the Agalimas. Nice size golden pathos, twenty dollars. I'm sure of it. One for another fig, another staghorn fern. Have golden pathos, fourteen ninety eight. Some more Agalimas as well, fourteen ninety eight. We have more um, Sansevieras as well. Mixed pet basket of cane if I'm not mistaken and some orchids some ethereums smaller ones which I'm pretty sure is waterlogged 1298 we have some more um, pretty orchids back here this is freaking gorgeous like this there we go gorge um, we have some more cacti if you guys are interested, this is what we have down here. Um, all of them look $4.98, $5.98, or $6.98. And, yeah. Some more orchids, which are just gorgeous. Oh, there we go. I couldn't find it, you guys. That's gorgeous. And a mixed pot, of course. Um, pink Ethereums. We have some bonsais. There we go. We have bonsais. Turn the light up on it. Um, I forgot what these are called. These are the lucky bamboo. All right, I mean I knew it was bamboo, but anyway, we have the different sizes as well. Um, on this side, same thing, cane mixed basket with some gorgeous epipremnums in there. Golden, some smaller money trees for $11.98. Nice size. This is how mine was, but <laughs> you guys will see what it looks like later. We have a pond with a ficus in the middle. Um, and we have a galore of just regular pots here, a small marble queen, $6.98, ferns, 
begonias. Hopefully this light is not too bright, you guys. Begonias. Golden ivy. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, here are the other ones that we seen earlier. Auto lock. There we go, focus. Stay on it. Thank you, sir. Um, I haven't seen one of these waffles in a long time. I used to have these. Um, lemon button fern. I forgot what this fern is called, but we I have it in the front yard. Here are some Hoyas. Princess, if I'm not mistaken. It say rubrica wax plant, whatever rubrica means, but gorgeous. And they are in macrame hanging baskets. And they are 19.98. Um, we have some ivy down below as well. Um, staghorn fern, as you can see, 1998 as well as some rabbit's foot up here from 1998. Oh, look at here, look at here. You already have one now, but lemon, um, well, neon rather, pathos, of course, $20. And there's a lot of them. So are a lot of these here. Um, Hoyas as well. Now these here, these have some bigger leaves and I mean, a nice size leaves for a Hoya, which means they've probably been here for a little while, but I'm pretty sure they're 19.98. Um, over here we have some smaller um, three for ten, but of course full of water. Um, and I think that is about it. Um, we have some more purple waffles, 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 Matonias, friendship plants. Um, oh, looky, looky, cutie pie. And begonia here, pasta farm, that is gorgeous. That really is gorgeous. Uh, for $10, and it comes with a coach as well. I think that is it back there. All right, guys. That is it. All right, guys, aside from it being a million degrees, oh, the only thing they had in there worth getting would probably be like those um, philodendrons, farmer firms. Like, I really wish um, Home Depot would do. Oh, they mess up, but it's something about, um, someone told me something about you get some type of credit points, which is stupid. I mean, why not just sell it to someone who possibly can take care of it, but no. That's only Lowe's, which is why I love going to Lowe's. Um, because you really can hit up a... Um, whoa! Hit up a clearance section and <laughs> clear that thing out. But, um, yeah, they don't do clearance section. I wish someone from... Oh, who am I talking? Who are y'all? Anyway, I wish someone would talk to Home Depot and be like, look, we like to plant stuff and explain to me why we can't get clearance i mean it's just it sucks let me cut is the air on it sucks you know so yeah well maybe i don't know i i, I don't know if i said i was going to get another rattlesnake calathea but to be honest with you that rattlesnake calathea i said if i was going to get another one it was going to be one that um is fairly larger than how do i get out of here fairly larger than the one Will you, will you lock down on the thing? Thank you. Uh, it's going to be fairly larger than the one that I have now or the one that I've been growing from like a little one, two inch pot. Um, so, yeah, the only thing I can think of is the, that I know for a fact it would probably be that squamiferum. But other than that, you guys, um, that is it here for today's video is the air is like creeping it's not even 
Okay, that's better. Um, that is it, guys, for today's video. Please do me a favor with that like button. Also, comment down below. Um, out of the plants you just seen, like which ones are your favorite? Like which one would you actually would have grabbed? I know a lot of us get different plants um, at the different at a different time. So, you know, the, some basic plant like a let's just say for instance something basic like a tulip um, that I know I can find here that you guys you know may not have seen tulips in like four years for some odd reason kind of like that freaking um um what is it that lemon lime aranta that you guys may have seen yeah on one of the videos that i've been looking for but doing a little bit more thorough inspection on it yeah that thing it needs jesus so um i, I left it there but other than that um yeah guys <laughs> I'll go to ranting again, but that is it for here for today's video. Again, please hit that like button. I'll make sure you are subscribed, you guys, and make sure the notification bell is on. This bell will keep you notified and let you know what's going on over here with Planting with Pete. And that is it. Yeah, that is it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.